One of the things we often want to do is to, is to create multiple versions of the same image, but we don't want to have to do it manually. It'd be great if we could automate it. Here's where one of the tools of Photoshop comes to our aid. If we go to the Actions palette, we're going to create an action. And I have a set called Event Flow for Event Work, and I'm going to call this one Multi Image. I'm going to start recording it. So the first thing is I need to open an image and I'm going to pick something off the desktop there we are that's the image open and you can see it's recording the stages down here so the first thing I'm going to do just to show how it's done maybe I want a grayscale version and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a save of that so do a save as and just for testing purposes I've set up some folders so I'm going to save that one there and click OK and I'm going to undo that just to give us back to our start state and something that's new in the latest versions of Photoshop from the filter range we can use a camera raw filter those that have watched the other video that I created know that you can actually save the settings from Lightroom to Photoshop so I created a preset called horse and there it is with that edit done click OK we now need to do a file save as on that and I'm going to save it into a different folder just for the purposes of testing so there it is saved and I'm going to do close back to the actions and that's it saved now to automate it, what I need to do is create this into a droplet. So if I go File, Automate, Create Droplet, I'm going to choose the destination. In this case I'm going to put it into a folder called Test Process and save it there. I've overridden the open commands because we need to. Uh, I've suppressed most of the dialogues and here because the output is going to put the files in the same folder because maybe we want to do a monitored printing folder we need to rename them with different um, additions on the end so I'll just choose my folder I'm going to use the same folder there test process and I'm going to click OK and if I go into my test process folder I'll see that I've got multi image there just close Photoshop and I can test that it actually works by grabbing another image for example throwing it on top of it and if it works what would happen is Photoshop would open it will go through the processes and saved and if we look in the test process we can actually see those two images that have been created so this would be the folder for everything to be saved into and that's working okay but this is would mean manually dra dragging onto the droplet and I don't want to necessarily drag onto the droplet so I have another program here called watch for folder and what that's going to do is monitor for any folder changes I've set up this folder called input I want it to execute the multi image and I need to change in here so I want to select the trigger so it needs to add the name and what this will do basically I'm looking for when a new file is added so it's going to set the droplet working when the new file is created and I'm just going to name this process multi the registered version of this can watch up to four things at once so if I apply that and start it, it will now monitor for any image added to the input folder. So 
the input folders empty let's find another image off of the desktop there's one here I'm just going to copy it so there's my input folder and paste it and there's Photoshop opening there's the image in this is a much larger image so it'll take a little bit more time and what we will be looking for there it's closed go back to the input folder go back to the test process and there we have the two images created so that's automatically monitoring creating different versions of the image with different names adding them in and jobs finished <laughs>